Gus, you're not an earthworm. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. I mean, how do you really know? I know because I learned that in school. It doesn't mean anything. Guys, what are you arguing about now? Gus thinks he's an earthworm. I mean, listen, hear me out. I was outside, I saw these brown, like, squirmy things in the dirt. They don't have arms like me, but they're like super small. And well, I couldn't see their faces and I didn't know they had fur and like all that kind of stuff. So- Well, I think we can solve this problem. Our friends, the STEM kids, sent us this portable microscope. Dad, I think you should tell us more about it. Good idea. Go to it. The STEM kids sent us this package, and as soon as we began using the portable microscopes they included, we were hooked. This handheld portable microscope and slides is one of the coolest gadgets we've seen in a while. And as you can see here, you simply add the slide to the microscope and then click the button on the side, and which will turn on a small light so you can view it. Here, I'll try to get a shot so you can see. It's actually a lot easier when you're looking with your eyes as opposed to a camera lens. But there it is, pretty cool, right? And it's amazing what you'll find once you put some things on the slide yourself, or you can actually put some things inside the viewfinder and see up to 40 times magnification. This is one of those things that were honestly sent to the girls for a video, but I'll probably use it a lot just to find out some cool things that are in the yard or around the house. And we'll let you know at the end of the video what other things we decided to research under the microscope. But until then, we got some digging to do to find out if Gus did find his long lost cousins. Hey Gus, Caden, and Quinn, you're back up. Wow, well that sounds like the perfect tool to do our research all about earthworms. In fact, I got a great idea. Let's learn all about earthworms with this microscope and then we'll report back in the video. I guess, I guess we're, we're learning about earthworms. A worm is a long crawling animal with a soft, often segmented body called analy. An earthworm is an invertebrate animal, which means that they don't have a skeleton. And like Gus mentioned, they have no legs or arms and instead are covered in hairs or bristles that help them move, called seedy. An earthworm is a type of annelid. Worms do not have lungs. Instead, they breathe through their skin, which they have to keep moist to absorb oxygen from the air. This is why earthworms usually live in damp, but not wet, loose soil. And we should mention that they're also cold-blooded, so they live in warm areas. But earthworms do not live in deserts or areas where there is constant snow and ice. They can also be found in leaves, and you even may see worms on the ground after it rains because the soil actually got too wet for them. And their bodies are built like a tube within a tube. They have an outer muscular body wall that covers their digestive tract that starts by their mouth in the first annuli or segment. And as they dig, they eat soil that provides nutrients from rotting organic matter like leaves and roots. The average earthworm is a reddish brown color with pointed posterior and anterior ends. <laughs> That means their heads and their butts. <laughs> well, Gus, hate to burst your bubble, but we found out something with the portable microscopes. Worms do not have eyes or other facial features and only have a small opening for a mouth. To support and shape their long body, they're filled with colonic fluid. And earthworms sometimes look like they have a belt or band around their bodies. This is a clitalum, a structure containing maturing eggs. Earthworms are hermaphrodites, which means they have both male and female reproductive cells. However, they do need another worm to reproduce more worms. Worms lay their eggs and soon little worms will hatch from cocoons that are smaller than a grain of rice. And worms live for up to four or five years, 
but some worms can live for up to 10 years. Earthworms are scavengers, meaning they will eat almost anything that was once alive, decaying matter, leaf litter, microbial fungi, and other microscopic organisms. Make sure you click that thumbs up button down below. It really helps our channel. I'll show you what it looks like. Here, put it on my face. Earthworms do not have teeth, so they swallow grit to help crush food as it moves through its multi-chambered gut. Earthworms can eat the equivalent of their own weight in a day. And earthworms are actually very important to the environment. They help by breaking down organic matter and passing it through their gut as newly enriched soil via their waste or worm droppings. You were supposed to say poop. You don't like to say poop because you don't like pooping. <laughs> uh, moving on. As they burrow and eat, they aerate the soil and add nutrients from deeper soil to upper layers. And this process makes it easier for new plant growth. And these tunnels from the different layers of soil allow water to reach a plant's roots as well as provide it nutrients. And this is how worms are essential for the well-being of plants and why farmers love worms, especially for the fact that you're going to learn soon. So make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to click the thumbs up button for us if you've learned something new from this video. Worms are also a source of food for other animals like hedgehogs, birds, frogs, and toads. Many people used to think that when a worm was cut in half, both parts would still grow, but that myth was busted a long time ago. Actually, only one half of the worm will live and continue to grow, and that's the part where the head is attached. Hey, guess what? Worms have between one and five pairs of hearts. Wow. Earlier, we talked about how water or moisture is important for worms. It's actually so important that when worms become dehydrated, their skin dries out and they can't breathe, and eventually, they can and will die. And when it's freezing out during the winter or roasting hot in the summer, worms survive by digging deep into the soil. This is also what allows them to hide from too much light, which they hate. You see, worms don't have ears or eyes, but they can sense light, especially at their anterior or front end. They dig deeper to get away from light or they'll become paralyzed if they're in light for too long, approximately an hour. Hey, remember a few moments ago I said that farmers really liked worms for their crops? Well, wait until you hear this. This is crazy and also why I thought maybe I found some of my long lost cousins. Because most worms are hidden and you won't see them. But to give you an idea how many there are, there are about one million worms living in just one acre of land. Well, hey, guess what? Thanks to our friends over at the STEM Kids and sending us this portable microscope, we learned a lot about earthworms, and I hope you did too. But with this cool microscope, we even looked at things like hair, fur, leaves, even potato chips to see what they look like under the microscope. I can't wait to get going and looking through the microscope for more. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.